Hello friends, this is Rupesh you're watching C++ video series on C++ and in this video we'll be looking into this encapsulation topic in C++. This is a very easy topic and you will get it just like a snap of the finger. So let's start this. Encapsulation is an object oriented programming concept which talks about binding together the data and the function that manipulates those data. Yes, binding together data and the functions happens in class yeah so let's create the class here as usual we will have this base class here goes your data okay and then public and you will have some functions here which you will call to manipulate this particular data or if you are having 10 or 20 data you will be calling those functions so let's make some functions here so set x which will set the value of x integer get x which will return the x so return x and x is equal to a and here we are getting a okay so this is the function and this is the data you encapsulated these two things in one thing and that is called base so can you see here you are encapsulating two things the data part and the functions which will manipulate that data okay so your class is a perfect example of encapsulation okay generally what happens in encapsulation like if you are looking at some capsule that look like this right so let's suppose you have some capsule it looks like this then it has two part one is a data part and another one is the function part so data is this one function is this one you encapsulated these two and call it base that's it so let's read this class is an example of encapsulation because it does what we need and if we have created some class and have data member and the member function in that it's an example of encapsulation yeah because sometimes what happens you create the class but you don't have the functions for that everything you keep as public and you just accessing it from main or some outside function then in that case that's not the example of encapsulation the encapsulation is your data and the functions should go together okay because you have the option of not including this function just erase this and make this x public so instead of this one here you can make this x public now if you are creating any object here you can access that right so i'll just show you that so instead of these functions you know these functions will do their job right but you can have something like this also like public and now if you are making some base b and b dot x you can set here and you can get it okay like this so if you'll compile this this is a perfect code c you got 10 here but the problem with this case is you are missing this function part you don't have these functions you just have the data correct so that is not the case of encapsulation this is something else i don't know what to call this one but surely not the encapsulation so this was about encapsulation and if you want to know what is abstraction and data hiding and all that stuff watch my coming videos you'll understand that so nicely so thanks for watching and if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button dude and if you haven't subscribed my channel go for it because i'll be uploading videos like this and you will get the notification right away Bye-bye.